Hi, I'm Sanvi, and today I will be talking about the parietal lobe. The parietal lobe is one of the four major brain lobes of the cerebral cortex in humans. It sits near the upper back portion of the skull, close to the parietal bone. In the brain, the parietal lobe is located behind the frontal lobe. A boundary called the central sulcus separates the two lobes. The parietal lobe also sits above the temporal lobe. The occipital lobe is behind and slightly underneath the parietal lobe. The parietal occipital sulcus divides these two lobes. Like the brain itself, the parietal lobe is divided into two hemispheres by the central furrow. The parietal lobe relies heavily on many other areas of the body to receive information. For example, the skin and nerves in the skin play a large part in detecting sensory information and delivering it to the parietal lobe. The parietal lobe itself also sends this information to other parts of the brain for interpretation. Many everyday functions require the use of multiple lobes in the brain. The parietal lobe deals with many sensations, including touch, pressure, pain, heat, cold, and tension. These are the somatic senses, meaning they come from the body. The information from these senses helps a person from physical sensations taken from the world around them. In order to carry out this function, the parietal lobe receives sensory information from all over the body. The parietal lobe also plays a huge role in a person's ability to judge size, shape, and distance. Additionally, it helps with the interpretation of symbols. This includes those in written and spoken language, mathematical problems, and codes and puzzles. Hearing and visual perception, as well as memory, are also part of the parietal lobe's function. A few different medical conditions can stem from the dysfunction in the parietal lobe. Generally speaking, damage to the parietal lobe may lead to a loss of sensation of touch. Such damage may be due to traumatic injury, a tumor, infection, stroke, vascular disease, other forms, or other forms of brain damage. Damage to the left lobe can cause difficulty with functions related to symbols such as language, mathematics, and writing. But damage to the right lobe may lead to difficulty with images, spatial awareness, movement, and the ability to visualize and create. Now we'll look at some specific conditions associated with the parietal lobe. One is the parietal lobe syndrome. Parietal lobe syndrome may occur after sustaining damage in one of the parietal lobes. This tends to cause a few different contralateral symptoms, meaning the symptoms appear on the opposite side of the lobe that experienced damage. Also, one other disease that may be caused is optic ectasia. Optic ectasia is a condition that causes a loss in the ability to guide the hand and arm with the eye. A person with optic ectasia may seem to grope for an object close to them rather than simply pick it up. I hope that you guys now understand all the differences between the parietal lobe and other lobes of the brain and now the function, diseases, and general information about the parietal lobe. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe.